வெல்கம் டு லிட்மிட் சேனல் இன்றைக்கி நம்ம பார்க்க போகிறது த லீலை ஸ்கூல் மாஸ்டர் ரிட்டன் பை ஆலிவர் கோல்ட் ஸ்மித் ஆலிவர் கோல்ட் ஸ்மித் வாஸ் அன் ஆங்லோ ஐரிஷ் ஆத்தர் பிளே ரைட் டிராமட்டிஸ்ட் அண்ட் பாயட் பெஸ்ட் நோன் ஃபார் ஹிஸ் பிளே த குட் நேச்சர் மேன் அண்ட் ஷீ ஸ்ட்ரூப்ஸ் டு கான்குவர் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் ஹிஸ் பேஸ்டர் பாயட்ரி த டெசர்ட் வெல் வில்லேஜ் theme of this poem the poem is about the headmaster of village school the poet discuss several of his eccentric in this poem the master combines knowledge and reasons with strangeness and humor his students were aware of his good nature and grew to know him well enough to be able to predict his impending errands the village school master is a objective poem Oliver Goldsmith teacher's name is Thomas Byron the village school master master denotes the respect and he enjoyed uh, original language of this poem is german genre of this poem is incomplete short story tone is ironic tone now let's see the poem uh, line by line first stanza of this poem beside yon struggling fence that skirts the way with blooms fris unprofitably gay that in his mansion skilled to rule the village school master taught his little school in this first stanza in a little village the local school master supervises his little institution the poem opens with a description of his school location A crooked fence that is bending over is located close to school although there are flowers in along the roads leading to the school nobody seems to be admiring or appreciating them the school is described as a noisy mansion that listens to the school master's rules the village master conducts his lessons there second stanza a man server he was and strange to view i know him well and every tyrant know well had the boarding trumblers learned to trace the day disaster in his morning face in this stanza goldsmith explain about he was a familiar with him and everyone else who was a tyrant know that he was a serious man who was tough to guess by looking at the teacher's face the kids have learned to judge his mood his forehead is where you can you can see the troubles of the day third stanza full well day laughed with counter feared glee at all his jokes for many a joke had he full well the busy whisper circling round conveyed the decimal tiding when he frowned in this stanza although he is disciplined he is also compassionate and humorous he cracks lots of jokes the kids pretend to giggle with joy whenever he cracks a joke they will lot of rest of his class knows if they see any signs of rage on his face fourth stanza of the poem yet he was a kind or if severe in act the love he bore to learning was in fault the village all declared how much he knew he was certain he could write and crypt to in this stanza the schoolmaster is good man in general if he has a flow at all it is his passionate love for knowledge the local look up to and respect the schoolmaster he is praised by everyone in the village for his extensive knowledge he was a good at writing and numbers next one fifth stanza lands he could measures terms and tides presage and even the story ran that he could gauge 
in arguing to the person owned his skill for even though vanished he could argue still in this stanza he had the ability to forecast weather and tides it is also considered that he has the ability to accurately scan an area he is also capable of debating rationally and engaging with the local person who is highly regarded by his parishioners next one is sixth stanza while words of learned length and threatening sound amidst the gushing rustic ranged around and still they gushed and still the wonder grew that one small head ca- could carry all he knew in this final stanza the master would impress the uneducated villagers by using complex phrase and emotive language the person acknowledged that master knock for debates the villagers are perplexed as to how his little brain could hold such vast knowledge now let's see some glossary in this poem way road blossomed frist means flowering rose body trembling means anxious oct means anything fault means here pronounced to fault to rhyme with oct crefer means calculate do max terms and types presage means he could predict, predict then types means times then which means calculate more complex things won't means admitted words of learned length means long words rustic means working class country people let's we see the literary device of this poem the poem structure is in the rhymic pentameter couplets a form featured prominently in the 18th century heroic poems one figure of speech in the village schoolmaster is irony the little schoolmaster seems to be opposite of the mansion antithesis when two opposites are combined to create a contrast mansions and a little schools are opposite idea another figures of speech is alliteration the, the lines while words of learned length and thread sounds features of two occurrence of alliteration while words of learned length show a repetition of sounds of l and w what is the setting of the poem the village schoolmaster oliver goldsmith poem the village schoolmaster is an excerpt from the classic work the desert village the term village in your title implies that the poem takes place in your rural setting where the speakers likely grew up the poem depicts a genuine image and the speaker's feelings about an instructor let me see yes you have this poem a yeah, man so he was and strange to view i know him well and every darren no in reference part same thing uh, in this line taken from the village schoolmaster written by oliver goldsmith context goldsmith was familiar with him and everyone else who was a darren know that he was a serious man who was tough to guess in explanation part the village schoolmaster was a very serious man he dealt with his boys very strangely and naturally the mischievous boys of the school had a taste of his severity in this connection the poet says that he know the master well thereby implying that he was a tyrant next one lansky could measure terms and types presage reference page the above lines are taken from the village schoolmaster written by oliver goldsmith context he can write do max and predict weather patterns and tides it is also assumed that he can do accurate su- survey and determines borders easily in explanation board he had the ability to forecast weather and tides he is also considers that he was able to to accurately scan an area the schoolmaster is admired and respected by the villagers everyone in the village prizes him for his great knowledge 
he can write do maths and predict weather patterns and tides it is also assumed that he can do accurate survey and determine borders easily he can also debate in intelligent intelligently and have discussions with the village persons a person who was greatly respected by his parishioners next one for even through vanish he could argue still in reference part these lines are taken from the village schoolmaster written by oliver goldsmith in context in this uh, cable of debating rational and engaging with them personal local persons who is highly regarded by his parishioners in explanation part the master used difficult words and emotional language to convince and impress the poorly educated village people the persons also accept the master's skill in debate sometimes even after being defeated in arguments the school masters continue to speak the village people wonder how his small head could contain so much knowledge let's we see the summary of the poem about the poem the village school master by oliver goldsmith is extracted from the famous poem the deserted village the word village in the title clearly suggests that the poem is set in a rural area probably where the speaker lived the poem portrays the rustic pictures and the speaker's sentiments about a teacher the schoolmaster presence in the poem might be the poet's teacher thomas byron the poem is about the characteristics of schoolmasters who is respected by all the villager due to his knowledge and interested in reading it is also talks about how things could change in the course of time a kind of looking back in back at past next part of summary introduction part the village school master runs his little school in a small village the poem starts with a description of location of the school the school is situated next to an irregular fence which is dilapidated and also leaned over The road leading towards the school is lined with the flowers which are not being admired or appreciated by the people. The school is mentioned as a noisy mansion following the rules of the schoolmaster. The character of schoolmaster, the village teacher is equipped to manage his class and teaches his lessons there. He is very strict disciplinarian and also a strain person to observe. The speaker says that he and all other tarant know him well because they have undergone the master range. The students have learned to sense the mood of the teachers by observing his face. The day's troubles is noticed from his forehead. Next one the contradiction of schoolmaster. The schoolmaster is a contradiction. although he is strict he is a kind and good humored he tells many jokes whenever he tells some jokes the children laugh with the pretend joy if they noticed any sign of anger on his face they will spread the news throughout the classroom but basically the schoolmaster is a kind man if at all he has any fault it is because of his intense love for learning the village praises him for his great knowledge the school master is admired and respected by the villagers everyone in the village praises him for his great knowledge he can write do mathematics and predict weather patterns and tides it is also assumed that he can do accurate survey and determine borders easily he can also debate uh, intelligently and have discussions with the village person a person who was greatly respected by his parishioner the village people wonders his knowledge the master used difficult words and emotional language to convince and impress the poorly educated village people the persons all accepted the master's skill in debate sometimes even after being defeated in arguments the school master continued to speak The village people wondered how his small head could contain so much knowledge. Conclusion of the summary: 
through the poem presents the pleasant remembrance of the poet about the schoolmaster the poem ends in the sad tone the last two lines tells the present condition the great fame of the schoolmaster has become a things of past at the present the schools where he faced many successes is forgotten next we see the short answer of this poem describe the location of the school the school was located next to the irregular fence that fringe the village path with full blossomed beautiful but ornamental fruits next one who is a tyrant can the speakers be described as one the word tyrant implies that the speakers may have been one of those who deliberately missed class and who had been confronted by the teachers about the mismandies Uh, further aspects about the teacher's personality indicates that he had an expressive face and that his pupils could easily read his mood as a result next one how did the students react to the schoolmaster's jokes and frowns the poet oliver goldsmith gives a humorous study of the schoolmaster's character but never loses his sympathy for him He makes an analysis of the qualities and capabilities of the schoolmaster. He was a strict disciplinarian who uh, who took his students to task if they played tyrant. The poet as a student was very aware of this aspect of the schoolmaster, but he appreciated his stand and came to love and respect him. The severe measures taken by the master had a soft and pious motive. behind them as he wandered to see his peoples turn into learned people the schoolmaster character is portrayed with many paradoxes he is an able to strict man yet his school is always noisy one describes any three of the things so far the which the villagers admired the schoolmaster the village respected the schoolmaster because of his extent of knowledge he had the admired him for his ability to write decode measure lands terms tides they were amazed at his debating skills and admired his ability to carry on debating even after he was defeated in an argument next one describe the reactions of the villagers when they listened to the schoolmaster's arguments the villagers stood round the two debaters and witnessed the verbal duel they were uh, awestruck when they heard the incomprehensible words used by the schoolmaster they wondered how his small head could keep that enormous hound of knowledge in the video ungalku pidichirundha marakam like pannunga share pannunga comment pannunga subscribe panni kooda iruka bell icon press pannunga thank you for listening